Hello everybody. Welcome to Joyous Daughter of God. My name is Amy and today is September 25th, 2020, day 25 of 5 Psalms a Day. And today I will be reading Psalms chapters 121 through 125. So if you're able to, go ahead, grab your Bibles so you can follow along with me. And I'm going to open up in a quick prayer. Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, I just come before you, Lord. And I just thank you for another day that you have blessed each and every one of us with. Lord, I just pray that this video is pleasing unto you. And I ask that you bless this video. Holy Spirit, give me the words that you want me to speak in the direction this video to go. And Holy Spirit, I pray that they do not hear me, but that they hear you speaking through your word. Through the word of God. And Lord as always just open up each and every one of our hearts and ears. To hear and to receive the word that you have for each and every one of us Lord. And I pray that the seed is planted on fertile soil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ I pray. Amen. Alright. Psalm 121. God the help of those who seek him. I will lift up my eyes to the hills, from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Thank you, Lord. Psalm 122. The joy of going to the house of the Lord. I was glad when they said to me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet have been standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together, where the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, to the testimony of Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For thrones are set there for judgment the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls, prosperity within your palaces. For the sake of my brethren and companions, I will now say, peace be within you. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good. So Father God, we ask you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we ask for your shalom, for your peace, to rule and reign in each and every heart of those living in Jerusalem and Israel. Lord, we just ask that you be with them amongst the chaos that they see. We ask that no matter what they are going through, that they have your peace to withstand withstand them to help them uh, to make it through to get through and Lord we just ask that they come to know you Jesus Christ as Yeshua HaMashiach as their personal Lord and Savior that you are salvation and we just pray that they truly believe in their hearts and that their eyes are open and their ears are unstopped where they can truly hear and see and know that the Messiah has already come. They're waiting for the Messiah, but he has already come and he is here and he lives in heaven and he dwell and he sits on the right hand side of God Almighty. And Lord, we just ask that they see it, that they believe it, and that they understand when they read the scriptures in the Old Testament of Moses, when they read of the prophets, that they will put two and two together 
and you, Holy Spirit, will let a light bulb go off, and they will be like, ah, oh, they are talking about Yeshua, who is Jesus Christ, and that they will believe upon your name, Yeshua, and that they will come to know you as their personal Lord and Savior, and they will be reconciled back to Abba Father through your death, burial, and resurrection, Jesus Christ, and that you, that they will now believe that you truly are the Son of God. You truly are who you say that you were when you walked with them 2,000 plus years ago, that you're still the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, but now it will resonate within their hearts. So we pray not only for your shalom and your peace, amongst Jerusalem and Israel, but we pray that they come to know you, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, as their personal Lord and Savior. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and I thank you. Amen. Psalm 123, prayer for relief from contempt. Unto you I lift up my eyes, O you who dwell in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of servants look to the hand of, the, of their masters, as the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God until he has mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. For we are exceedingly filled with contempt. Our soul is exceedingly filled with the scorn of those who are at ease, with the contempt of the proud. Psalm 124, the Lord, the defense of his people. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us alive. When their wrath was kindled against us, the stream would have gone over our soul. Then the swollen waters would have gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as prey to their teeth. Our soul has, exca uh, our soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Let me read 7 through 8 again. Our soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Thank you, Lord. Psalm 125, the Lord and the strength of his people. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people, from this time forth and forever. For the scepter of wickedness shall not rest on the land allotted to the righteous. Let the righteous reach out their hands to iniquity. Do good, O Lord, to those who are good, and to those who are upright in their hearts. As for such as turn aside to their crooked ways, the Lord shall lead them away with the workers of iniquity. Peace be upon Israel. And that concludes Day 25 of five psalms a day. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity that you have given to me to be able to read your word and to share your word. And Lord, I just pray that there was something in there that has spoke to people or where there was encouragement that they needed for whatever it is that they are going through. And Lord, I just ask that you be with each and every person as they go forth today. Protect them, guide them, and show them way. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray and I thank you. Amen. Well, you all have a wonderful and great and blessed day. Take care.
Bye.